Let's find out how far Russia is from the U.S. It's closer than you think, a lot closer. You could literally walk from the U.S. to Russia, if you were brave enough. We are familiar with the map. We've seen it in classrooms, books, and the internet. But the map is distorted, and the distance between the continental United States and Russia needs to be shown correctly. It gives the impression that they are on opposing sides. So Big Diomede is a Russian island, and Little Diomede is a U.S. one. The distance between the two is only about 2.5 miles. Today, you'll discover why it takes an entire day to travel from one to the other. Let us begin without further ado. So the Eskimos began populating the Diomede Islands around 3,000 years ago. Semyon Desta F., a Russian Orthodox explorer, found these ancient sites. In 1648, he discovered the strait between Asia and North America. He also read about the two island sites. Vitus Bering discovered one of them in 1728, and both were later sketched on maps in 1732. As a result, they were given their contemporary Russian names later in the early 19th century. Alexander II sold Alaska to Americans in 1867. At that time, they didn't have much use for those lands, and keeping them cost a lot, so a little extra money would be all right. The U.S. paid the Russians only $7.2 million for the deal. Only $7.2 million! Following the sale of Alaska, state lines were created between the Diomede Islands. And at first, these changes didn't bother the locals. People who lived around the Bering Strait area had always thought of themselves as one people, even though their families lived on different islands and could easily sail to each other. After World War II, however, relations between the USSR and the USA worsened, so the border was closed. Politics often make simple people suffer in situations like this. Ratmanov began housing the military, forcing villagers to relocate to Siberia. Naturally, the government was uninterested in their collaboration. And in the end, the border was called the Ice Curtain and marked the start of the Cold War. Years went by, and on August 7, 1987, the so-called Ice Curtain began to melt slowly. In 1989, the country signed an agreement that let people from both sides of the Bering Strait Islands travel between the two. The ice barrier was finally broken in 2015, when the United States completed all requirements. According to the agreement, Alaskan natives can now visit relatives in the Chuki Peninsula and vice versa. It's difficult to predict where things will be in the future, because there needs to be more information in the media concerning the situation. As previously stated, the Diomede Islands are separated by a hilariously short distance of approximately 2.4 miles. Going between them, on the other hand, is a great way to feel like a time traveler. As you can see, the islands are separated by the international dateline and operate in distinct time zones. The time difference is 21 hours, and the Russians are ahead of the Americans. As a result, Ratmanov Island is sometimes referred to as Tomorrow Island, and Christensen Island is called Yesterday Island. This exciting revelation became widely known to viewers in March 2021 when a TikToker uploaded a video explaining the quickest method to get from Russia to the United States on foot. He told a white lie. Because of climate change, solid ice does not form between the islands as it once did. He also mentions the time difference. The video became viral, garnering millions of views and being covered extensively in the media. You could celebrate your birthday twice in one year, or start celebrating the new year on Ratmanov Island, then go back in time to celebrate again on Christensen. Unfortunately, traveling between them is more complicated. As a result, Ratmanov Island today has no permanent settlement, only military. Furthermore, the island is covered in heavy fog for 300 days out of the year. The majority of the guards are on contracts, although they have modern conveniences like TVs and phones with them. Only one village on Christensen Island is often known as Little Diomede by the Americans. It is home to a small Eskimo society of more than a hundred people. The islanders, particularly the youth, have begun to reconsider their settlement. Despite this, travelers observe that the villagers appear happier than many residents of large cities. That'll be enough information to satisfy your mind for today. Leave a like, subscribe, and let me know whether you want to live on Tomorrow Island or Yesterday Island, and I'll see you next time.